Hey, it's Dr. Daniel Choi from North Texas Dental Surgery, Wisdom Teeth, and Denture Implant Center. I wanted to go over some gum recession, actually gum graft complications. So if you have the gum grafting done, what are some potential complications that can happen and what can we do to avoid those outcomes? If you like this content, please give me a thumbs up and also if you can follow the channel, that'd be great. Um, so basically the number one issue I would say with gum graft complications can be bleeding. Okay, so bleeding anytime if we harvest tissue from the roof of the mouth, if you do a free gingival graft especially, um, that's where patients have a higher tendency to have bleeding. So um, just make sure that you follow your doctor's post-op instructions very carefully. And if you happen to be seeing this video, just for a little bit more detailed information, you want to see basically where the bleeding is coming from, from the roof of the mouth. Usually it's closer to the back of the roof of the mouth. And what you want to do is you want to get some gauze. We typically give you like these little square size gauze, two by two gauze. Um, and what you want to do is you want to get a little wet, squeeze out the excess water, and then put that gauze up there, give it solid pressure for about 10, 15 minutes. So think about like anytime you want to stop bleeding, you want to put pressure on it. So use your two fingers, really give it some solid pressure. If you got somebody to help you out, if it's bleeding a little bit more. Um, and again, these are more associated with free gingival grafts. Um, your mom, somebody can help you out. And like if you're like just laying there, they can help from behind and really pull on that, like put that gauze up there and really give it solid pressure. Um, anyways, so one other thing to keep in mind in regards to that is that if you're gonna have a free gingival graft done, you might wanna consider getting a palatal stent. It's a, something that looks like an Invisalign tray or a bleach tray. And we can put it against the roof of the mouth and it really helps with the bleeding and it helps and also it helps with comfort too. Patients always say that their the roof of their mouth feels a lot more comfortable um, after a free gingival graft if they had that palatal stent made. Now connective tissue grafting also you can have some bleeding but it's really rare. So we grab the tissue from the middle of the roof of the mouth so um, long story short it's pretty rare to have um, bleeding from a connective tissue graft. So. Um, but if you do have any bleeding, just again, get that gauze a little bit wet and then again, your surgeon should give you some gauze. Squeeze out the excess water, put solid pressure up there 10-15 minutes. Again, think of it like a nosebleed, you just want to give it solid pressure. Um, other issues that can happen, um, gum graft failure. So um, your gum graft can fail, obviously that's a potential complication. So just because you had a gum graft done, just don't be careless about it. Um, again, make sure that you find a really good surgeon, a really good periodontist. Make sure that they have a lot of before and after photos so that you can see the quality of their work. Make sure that um, they've done this procedure a ton of times. And also, it's very important that you follow the post-op instructions because if, you if you're don't, if you not careful about how you brush and you eat and how you're taking care of your teeth, um, if you don't follow those instructions to a T, you can potentially cause gum graft failure. So you don't want to have to do this procedure all over again. Um, swelling, so that's another thing that can happen. Um, pretty rare. I mean, actually it's pretty common um, and it's pretty associated with these procedures. So you might notice a little swelling. So it's um, not again, I wouldn't really consider it a complication, but expected it for it to happen. And it typically happens about three or four days out. Um, but a lot of icing after you go home from your procedure for that day and the day after, and that'll really help. Sleep with your head a little elevated. Some steroids can also help too, but you'd have to get that before your procedure. And one last thing that can also happen, which is again, very rare is infection. Um, Infection, I, they're super, super rare. So as long as you're keeping your, your mouth clean, do salt water rinses, um, taking your antibiotics, you really shouldn't get that infection. And I do thousands and thousands of these grafts and I rarely ever see that infection, but just want to let you know that it could be a potential complication. But anyways, hopefully you guys found this information to be useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you.